SHOT Show 2017 at the Cry Precision booth. And we'll be talking to Ernesto. How you doing, man? How's it going? Good, good, brother. How are you doing? A more tired. Yeah, more important. Long week, but it's been a really good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real productive. Yeah, very productive. Okay. Now uh, we chatted just a little bit, just you know, a few moments ago. Sure. Uh, there's nothing really new in the box for Cry, but um, uh, there, obviously there's some, some behind-the-scenes things that are happening. Sure. Yeah. And of course, you know, the industry and it, it's pretty uniform throughout. Well, I say industry, but the industry that's here at Shot Show has been pretty uniform. That there's not a lot of real. Well, there is a lot of new innovative stuff, but the larger players are not really in hyper mode right now. So there's a, a bit of a lull in the wind, you might yeah. say. But uh, last year there was an introduction of this new cover system for body armor. Yeah. Um, I didn't have a chance to, to talk to you guys then, so I'd like to cover it now. If sure. That's yeah. Yeah. Last year we uh, we were excited to uh, show our. Uh, molded uh, level 3A soft armor um, system. Uh, the base vest configuration is how it's sold. Um, the idea being that it's you know a lot more concealable and less of a noticeable under you know a t-shirt or a button-down shirt uh, for low base operations. But you know like everything we do here we like making things modular and as adaptable as possible. So we made a system series of covers for them. Um, well, quick question about the armor itself. Is this a cry product as well? Yes. Also? Okay. Yes. And you mentioned molded. Is there something about the the uh, the Kevlar? Well, maybe not Kevlar because there's other materials. Now, Correct. But the uh, the armor itself. Is there something about the armor that allows it to mold, or is there some method of getting a custom piece uh, through cry? It's uh, no. It's we we find, we. Did a lot of testing on, on obviously the body types vary tremendously, but we came to a kind of a happy medium uh, from all the fittings and testing that we did to come up with this this one shape. Um, coming in in four different sizes, um, but uh, it will be one mold that we're we're kind of working on. So you're working on kind of a humanistic mold instead exactly. of a flat panel of material. Exactly. It's 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 mold. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, just to help with that. The people in the shape. You know, okay. So. And and Cry is actually manufacturing this, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Well, again, I'm I'm trying to catch up from out of the box from last year. So yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, interesting. What's what is price? If you can give me what's price point on the body armor itself? Um, it's uh, about to go live on the website, but it, we're looking between seven and eight hundred. Seven and eight hundred dollars per copy. Yeah. And and have, was it available in 2016? Uh, we premiered it in, in 2016. Guys, uh, it's does it really so well. Once the show's over. Okay, so and realistically, and I've, I've not heard of anybody using it, so that's why it's, it's not actually that's technically correct, available now. There's been a lot of guys that we, you know, end users that we always uh, work with and have for years, and have been using it for the last couple of years for field for field yeah, use, for, right? For fit and you know, in field use and done a lot of and that's back. part of your T and E as well. Correct, right? Correct. So okay, good. I'm just well, I, I don't expect any other answer, but you've had positive feedback. Yeah, no, there was a lot of you know there. The guys that we use are, are very honest about their experience with it, and that's what we want. You know, we don't, uh, you know, we don't want a lot of yes men. You know, right. when we, we do that, so we need honest feedback so we right. deliver the best product possible. Safe to say that there's been some tweaking. And oh changes. yeah, yeah, without over a doubt. Last yeah. year, a lot. This years. was this was a difficult project to pull off, and uh, okay. we're we're happy with where it is now. So now the the, the body armor itself is the vest. Is available independent, but you can also you utilize these cover cards or these cover uh, systems. Yeah, if you want to wear it overtly, we've got a series of covers, um, lighter weight fabrics uh, with a four-way stretch, but uh, it'll allow you to uh, any hook and loop pouch systems you can put on the front um, to a almost a proper plate carrier where you can the, the body armor slides in. And then the next level, we can insert your plates front and back, and then molly on all of the pouches you want or don't want. Right, so you um, enhance that system. And then one of the unique ones is the uh, uniform cover, which you know uh, departments that have a, a requirement for uh, officers, you know, you know, maintaining the uniform look um, with this system, they'll be able to order um, and request you know, a uniform cover that will work with. Right, and of course, this is not an example of an end user piece. It's more of a sample of what's exactly. possible. What's, what's possible. So, you, so you could obviously. I mean, the cover is is just a little heavier than a uniform. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's fifty fifty Nyko. Okay. Yeah. So you 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 know you could have regular buttons. You could have regular you know like 
say in law enforcement or fire, uh, EMS, you could have a regular uniform with regular style buttons. You could also do, basically you could, exactly. you could craft whatever you exactly. wanted. Exactly. So you could have a badge holder, you embroidery, could have ID, yep. you know, ID exactly. badges, the exactly. whole nine yards, embroidery like you said. Yep. Okay, very good. Um, outstanding. Do you have, uh, can you give me an example of an expected price point on the body armor itself? Uh, between seven and eight hundred. Seven and eight hundred dollars. Yeah. Did I ask where you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> Long week. Yeah. Um, okay. And then, of course, variable on on your exactly. carriers as well. And of course, uh, Prime makes the carriers. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Everything okay. made in house. Beautiful. Anything else? It's uh, anything else you'd like to touch base on? That's about it. Uh, okay. We've got a lot of exciting things coming out for next year, which is why there's you know not a, a bit lot. of a lull. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's going to be a good year. Next okay. Year. And you folks are also involved in a uh, fundraising uh, organization. Yeah. Right yeah. Now? We uh, we've always been working and trying our best at, at Shaw Show to raise as much money as possible for the Unit Scholarship Fund, Navy SEAL Foundation, Special Operations Warrior Foundation. Right. So we just ended our uh, charity silent an auction that we had and uh, the calendar girls from Hot Shots Calendar have been signing all week long accepting donations for the calendars right. and uh, yeah it's been very successful. Do you have a ballpark figure of how much you've raised for those organizations? Not yet. We, okay. we just closed a lot of things but uh, typically we you know uh, it's it's been we've, we've done a lot of money. We, we don't robust. brag about it, but yeah, yeah we're, the charities we, we work with are, are very happy with us, and we just keep doing it. Yeah, so, well, I, I'm more than happy to brag for you. Though, <laughs> you know, we so, are who we are because of the end users, and we, we do as much as we can to absolutely. Support. Okay, so what kind of secrets are you going to leak out to me? No. Not a one. Huh? No. Okay, well, I, I'll, we'll try a couple of beers. No and see if we can get you Thanks. Have a, have a safe trip home. Thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot.